Hi, this is Tim at Time to Sew, and I'm just going to do a short demo on using Stampboard. Okay, so here we go, this is Stampboard. Uh, this is obviously an inch square piece. It's a piece of MDF with a ceramic surface. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just rub the ink, this pigment ink, onto the ceramic surface to give me a background colour. There we go. Quite a nice effect is to give it a sort of distressed edge. So what I'm going to do is once I've got this background colour nice and even is I'm just going to push the tile edge into the ink pad. This gives you a nice sort of speckly, slightly random edge. If you slide it, it gives a more precise straight line. So there we go, there's our distressed edge. Now I'm going to make this into a necklace, so I'm going to work with it on the diagonal. Now here's my stamp, it's a little dove carrying a olive stalk. So I'm just going to ink the stamp with black ink. And then stamp as normal onto the tile. There we go. Now, as you can see, um, my dove is purple with a black outline. So what I'm doing now is just with a pokey tool, I'm scratching through the purple layer of ink and actually into the ceramic layer. Now I've sped the film up here to save you watching for half an hour as I do this. So unfortunately I can't work at this sort of speed, but you can see the effect. The nice thing about stamp board is that it's using inks and stamps that you probably already have at home, but you can suddenly start making jewellery and fridge magnets and card toppers and bits and pieces that you normally can't do. It's a great material to work with. I particularly like this inch size, I quite often will make a little mosaic up of several individual pieces and sometimes I just put double-sided tape on the table and make up a block of half a dozen separate pieces of, of stamp board and then use a large stamp and stamp across them. I'm just using a gel pen here just to add a bit of colour to the twig that the duff is holding. It's a glitter gel pen. Um, this stage the contrast is minimal, but once the piece is glazed, uh, those differences will come out. Now, here we go. It's a really nice tool coming into play here. This is a crock, and I'm just going to use it to punch a hole in the top of the tile. Because it cantilevers, it doesn't take a great deal of pressure to uh, punch through something as stout as this. So there we go, now I'm just going to bring in the baking tray and push the whole tile into a Versamark ink pad. This is a Versamark watermark pad that will just leave a sticky surface on the tile. I'm then going to pour over the embossing powder. This is clear gloss ultra high embossing powder. As you can see it's a really coarse grain. Uh, it's going to get a piece of um, scrap acetate just to use as a shovel to uh, put my powder on. There we go. As you can see, I've finished just short of the edge because once the powder melts, it will tend to flow to the edge. 
The difference with this powder over the standard embossing powder is that it has a higher surface tension. So although it melts and flows, it will tend to stop at the edge rather than just pouring over the edge. And you can see that as the powder melts, it goes from white to clear. It initially forms little bubbles that then join together to form the glaze. If you're using a particularly focused heat gun, you may need to build this up in layers rather than do it in one as I have here. Um, I always keep a little pokey tool handy as well. If the hole begins to clog up, now's the time just to tuck the pokey tool in and clear the hole. In this instance, the powder hasn't wanted to flow behind the hole, so I'm just dragging a little bit along to, to help it. And there we go, it's the finished tile. It's a nice high glaze. So just to show you what it looks like finished, I've put a little crimped finding on the top here. I'm just going to thread this through to make it into a little necklace. I can just get that through the hole. And there we go. So how's that? Just as a taster of other things that can be done. Um, I've got a little bracelet here that I made from Andy a while ago. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. All of the materials and equipment that I've used are on our website at www.timetosew.com where you can also find a list of the other workshops. Thank you again. Goodbye.